Hey guys, Logan here, and here we are with another one. I didn't think I made it clear with the lighting in the other one. I just put one spotlight and that was it. What I want to try and do, I want to show you everything that you can do with lighting, to shadows, to volumetrics, and we're, we're going to get into everything with the lighting today. So, yeah. So, I guess... Now, what I want to do is, I don't know if I spot that, anyway, I don't, what I want to do is, on the map I did my last video, it already had lighting, so it was sort of hard to see most of the lighting I was doing, so I'm going to choose uh, this map called the Black Void, it's just a, a black map, and you can only see with a light, so I'm just going to find it, so, the Void. I guess why not this one actually let's use this one so now it's just loading in the map so because when, when stuff is very dark you can see the light better and I think it'd be better to explain it if we used a very dark map so yeah okay we're in the map okay now what I want to do I just want to enable lighting so I can actually see where I am and uh yeah so this is what it is with no light i just disabled all lights but we're going to be using lights so us i don't know we'll go around the middle and then i'll face my camera right here actually what i want to do i want to go to this camera just a bit easier to use so you can use the work camera at the same time okay we'll face this way enable lighting spot back it's just gonna be dark so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put one light in now that should be facing right at this black wall like it's it's there but this is nothing for it to shine on it's it just looks like there's nothing there so what we're gonna do i'm just gonna add a model i don't know 35 there probably you guys know who that guy is sort of popular so yeah and if not it doesn't really matter because we're just doing lighting today uh, into reflect on and now it's there so I'm just gonna put this guy into place I don't know this is where this is where I use um, secondary camera for what are you doing okay don't honestly need all of that Okay, so that's the camera. This is going to be the work camera. So now we can move it while our camera is looking at it. Just makes it a bit easier. Um, I think we'll just do a, a, a like him looking at the screen with his face. If I just okay, that's better. Okay, because it's a bit too light, you can probably already see that. I'm just gonna change it. So go to light, click on it, and then there's the intensity. You slower that down, and then around here. Just gonna move his head a bit. Okay, now we can finally get into lighting. I'm not gonna worry too much about the model because this is only a lighting tutorial. Okay, let's just say. Okay, we've got our model in our place. Now we can do the lighting. That's why we're here, aren't we? Now, you can see there's only one light. It looks a bit too plain, right? What I like to do is I like to add a bunch of lights in different ways. So what you want to do is, just so it's a bit easier, get this and then you drag it into your secondary camera and now you move the light. So you can look on this to see if it's alright. While, see now it looks like there's like some sort of, like sun shining down on the character, if you know what I mean. But what I like to do, go right below them and look up around uh, like that 
then see now it looks a bit more smoother and more free dish because there's that little light on the side and I like to well, this can be to any of your characters it doesn't have to just be this guy also like to put one right at the top oh accidentally did a light on that camera oops see that wasn't good so you know there's a bit of like this more look to it him if you know what I mean okay now what we want to do is we want to add like little light to it because natural light if you just look, I don't know look in your room it's not always just white it's not just always a white light if you open up a window or something it's usually it doesn't look white it looks like more like a yellowish sunshine look and at night it's like more like a bluish so what we want to do uh, I guess light two so we'll go to two now you scroll down here and then there's two colors I don't know what the alpha one does it doesn't really do anything but you don't really need to worry about that so let's just say we want a yellow we want to probably get rid of blue and it starts to get a bit yellow go all the way down it goes fully yellow and then we can just change it until we get something we like like a good color okay uh, I think we've got too much yellow see that looks a bit good, good right now what we want to do okay, now now see he looks so much more better than at the start this is what he used to look like just a oh, that doesn't look right he used to just look normal like that, but now we added these two lights. He looks more like, he, he looks more sharp around the corners and stuff. And, where did I? Okay. Now there is one other thing I want to show you. Don't need to add it to it, but I like to use it. It suits, sort of suits more like a scary thing, but you don't really need. <sighs> I'm going to cut that out. That was horrible. Okay. Where, where's the guy? Okay, there he is. Sorry, couldn't see him. Now, let's just say, let's put a light in front of him. Now you're gonna say, uh, it's not doing anything. Why are we just gonna put a light there for nothing? Not for long. There's gonna be something right there, and it's gonna be very visible. Now I don't always use it, but eh, works sometimes. Anyway, I'm. It's just, just a tutorial. Now enable volumetrics. Now I enabled it, and now what it lets me do is, let me find it, where is it, oh yeah, see now it's got like a sort of reflection thing, yeah, if it doesn't pop up just click the screen and just refresh it, now it's got like a sort of fog to it, but yeah, now it looks like the sun like shining down and going, but it's a bit too foggy right, it, you, want, you don't want it like that, well sometimes you do. It's just for my occasion, no. Now, volumetric, in, it's like intensity, it's like the normal one, but for volumetric, that's this uh, fog thing. So, we're just gonna put this down. Now, that looks pretty cool. But because, like, the fog sort of like interfering with the lights, we may need to put the fog behind everything so it doesn't interfere with all the stuff we've been doing. So what we just need to do, we just need to move it a bit, like, to the side. Maybe, like, a bit on him. Now, you, you could mess around with this, like, all day and... But... Okay. Looks a bit cool. Okay, we'll leave it. Leave it there. Now, just get rid of this thing for a bit. Now it looks good. Before it used to just look like this with one simple light. But what we've done as as we just added a little more texture to it, make it a bit better. And to finish it off actually. And then to finish it off we just changed it. Now you can make this whatever colour you want, but Okay. See we're just about done actually there is one more thing I want to show you 
before we go that you this is like some, this is a tip that you can do we're just gonna get the, the the volumetric one and we're just gonna change it this is a this is another style that some people use as you get the volumetric light and you shine it right be behind them and it like creates like a well it's confusing like it creates a it looks like the light's like behind them because volumetric you can see the light so you know where it's going and it looks like it's shining all around it and if you can't really see it that good it just looks like it's just this grey thing behind the character all you need to do is you just need to make the volumetrics a bit higher see now you can sort of see it's sort of it looks like it's going past uh, the character uh, where is it? I can't find volumetrics oh it's down here See, that, that's also something you could do. And yeah, that, that's pretty much it. This was a short uh, thing, but we were just learning the basics. And now you can mess around, mess around with the lights, see what you can do. And uh, hope you've enjoyed this episode. If, if you think I've missed something out and you want me to like try it out, just, just type it in the comments. Uh, I'll get to it and we, we can make a separate little video just on that thing that I may have missed and yeah or if I haven't missed anything or if you just want me to do something else like I don't know like how to import music into the into uh, your animations that that I could do just whatever you want type in the comments and I'll make a tutorial on it if it's something to do with as a friend by the way anyway hope you've enjoyed and uh see you in the next one bye